Everybody, I should have filmed this before I put the cleaning solution in, <laughs> but uh, I, haven't, I did a video a while, a while back and, and ended up erasing it, but this is the uh, Mega Home water distiller. It's the uh, stainless steel one with the cover right there upside down. It don't really need to be clean, so I'm not going to clean that. But yeah, it's in there. I just plugged it in, so it's and the little cover fell off the wall there. It's not good. I'll have to fix that later. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you can kind of see. I don't know. It's kind of foggy now, but um, this time I'm using some coffee urn cleaner liquid, and I'm using some food grade citric acid. <clears throat> excuse me, citric acid. Now the stuff I used before is a brand I got on Amazon called Still Clean. That works really good. It's get, it gets everything out. I mean, it turns out shiny like brand new. Just, you know, going to wipe it out just a little bit at the end, but almost no effort. This I'm going to try, see what happens. i got to let it boil. So, I mean, I put hot water in to speed it up. It takes a good 15 minutes to get it boiling. So, otherwise, yeah, I've had this thing for a year and a half, almost two years, and it's been great. I distill about six... Yeah, six, seven gallons of water a week. And something new I've been doing is uh, I the pH of the water when it's distilled is usually about 6.6, 6.7, which is okay. Um, it, you know, when, when you distill water, it does make it acidic a little bit. So what I do is I take some uh, baking soda. And actually, I got this idea from a, a YouTube friend, uh, Mr. MBB333. Uh, 333. He's got uh, some stuff about pH. But I tried that and it works. I um, took a gallon of water and I ended up putting about a teaspoon in and I got the pH up to about 8.0, 7.5, even 8.5 with a, with a test strip. So other than that, yeah. Now you can see how dirty this was. There's a lot of crud on the bottom. A lot of it peeled off from filling it up with water. But yeah, the side's not too bad. You can see it kind of about a halfway I'm trying to shine it. I got the light on. So yeah, you can see how dirty it is. It's all the inorganic stuff that's bad for you, and whether it's chemicals, chlorine, fluoride, aluminum, it gets everything. It's been great water. And don't don't listen to people that tell you it's bad for you because it's not. You know, they say, oh, it leaches minerals out of your body. It does not. It leaches out the inorganic minerals, which is the bad stuff, the stuff that you don't want in you, and that's a good thing. You know, your body, your kidneys are going to flush all that out. <clears throat> you know, you get your vegetables and, I mean, your minerals and vitamins from uh, foods. You know, fruits and vegetables, some meats. You don't get it from water. I mean, I guess water does have a little bit of minerals, but not like your fruits and vegetables, which are more important. You, know, you should be getting those. But this has been great water. I've been doing it for almost two years. Have no health effects. I actually feel great. Don't know if that's attributed to the water, but the water tastes great. It's clean. You know, just it's, it's it's just better for you. It's better than buying bottled water. You know, you're paying all that money. We can just do it this way. And if you want the pH to be back up, just put some of the baking soda in it. I just use uh, regular, as long as it's aluminum free. The Red's Mill, that, that's good stuff. Um, even Arm & Hammer is good as long as it's aluminum free. All right, well, thank you for watching. I'll hopefully do a follow-up video after this to show you how clean it gets with my experiment of the two uh, mixed cleaners together and see what happens. All right, I'll see you then. Take care.